also have to sadly have to report that our officer, Officer Daniel Vasquez, has, has died from his injuries. Uh, officer Vasquez is a two-year member of our department, 32 years old, uh, shining star, shining star for our department. Uh, all these are tragedies, um, but to see such a young person uh, so early on in his career lose his life to such senseless violence is, is just unfathomable. So um, the, uh, the Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 50 is going to be in the process of setting up an online portal for, for anybody that wants to donate to uh, Officer Vasquez's family. Turn from a sad day to a tragic day. And as I said earlier, I know the whole North Kansas City community stands behind our police force. We'll be here for the family. We'll be here for all our other employees. So please, if you need anything, reach out. Follow our social media channels. It's, as I said, it's, it's just a tragic day. It's a tragic day. So that we do have a suspect in custody. Um, won't be releasing any more information on that at this time. Um, we did turn himself into the police department, to the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department. So we're working with our, our local and regional partners to make sure that this case is, uh, is handled in the way it needs to be handled. Kansas yes, City. this is the first line of duty death for a North Kansas City police officer. It's senseless, it's senseless all the time, but uh, he, was, he was just a, a great, great human being. It is a small department, and with small departments like a small city, uh, you know each other. You know each other's uh, personal likes and, and, and dislikes and what people like to do for fun. Um, it is a tight, tight-knit, tight-knit department, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a struggle for a while for our officers to, to come to grips with that and, uh, and be ready to still go out and do the job because the job still has to be done. Uh, crime doesn't quit, unfortunately.